Hello and welcome to Kids Live today. Wherever you are, I hope you will enjoy today's program and learn more about God through it. Sanbonan Bangani, Fianne Mugala with Kids Life Nam Sanje, Mitem Gutin Nomangabu Gopila Pokon, Ozo Togozela, Locos of Bona Nam Sanje, who found the footing on Gulungu. Do you know that it's Easter time? We are Zin Sagit Katse Pasig. What does Easter mean for you? Guena Gipasigal Kazan. Do you eat Easter eggs like these? Ulangelo chocolate alone? Or maybe hot cross buns? No malama panis allow. I like these very much. I'm Nandi Gilao and Gawatan. When I was a child, my mother always used to make hot cross buns and also a special cake called a simnel cake. The same man gave Numawami, why ends a lama panis allow? Besser foot a bag, a lingy cake food. It's a fruit cake with a marzipan topping like this. Marzipan is made from crushed almonds. Those are nuts and egg and icing sugar. This cake has 11 balls of marzipan on the top, which represent Jesus' 11 disciples. Jesus had 12 disciples, but remember, Judas was a bad one. He told the evil high priests and soldiers where to find Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Watch Elama priest Uguti Bazom Tola Puchesu Le Engatinase Getseman. They took Jesus and eventually killed him on the cross. Bam Tatagebanganu Jesu Bazabom Bula Lilis Pambanuin. This is what Easter is really all about. This is all about Jesus dying on the cross to save us from our sins. We all do wrong things sometimes or make mistakes and we need to tell Jesus about those things in prayer. Jesus died on the cross so we can know forgiveness for our sins and be washed clean by his blood. Today we're going to see a story which you probably know about the time when Moses had asked Pharaoh to let the Israelites go into the desert and be free. So they would be free from being slaves doing all of Pharaoh's hard work for nothing. There were many plagues sent by God to try and get Pharaoh to let them go, but he refused again and again. Today we're going to see the last thing that God did. After this, Pharaoh let them go. The lamb that saved the family. There was once an Israelite family who loved God very much and lived in the country of Egypt. Egypt is a country a long way away from here, but it's still in Africa. An important man called Pharaoh was ruling there. 
le ndoda ke le nebalilekile ufaro iyone yayibusa khona He was like a king Why a phalange nenkosi He was powerful and mean Why? and he did not like the Israelites Why ena mandla futhi engemuhle ngoba engamathandi abantwana baka Israel All the Israelites were suffering under the rule of his powerful and mean Pharaoh Abantwana baka Israel babehlupheka ngaphansi kombuso wakho Pharaoh He made all the Israelites work very hard as slaves. Why ba sebenza sa kanzima abantwana baka Israel ebenza igqila. They wanted to leave Egypt and go to live by themselves in the desert. Babefuna ukuhamba manje baphuma egibithi bawehlalela le kude e e e desert. There were many of them and they were tired of being treated so badly by the mean Pharaoh. Babe baningi futhi sebekhathele ukuphathwa ngaleyo ndlela. Moses was the leader of the Israelites and he asked Pharaoh many times to let them go into the desert, but every time he asked, Pharaoh said no. Umoze siku yena wayephetha abantwana baka Israel. Ngaso sonke isikhathi mayimcela ufaro ukuthi cela ukuphuma phela athi ufaro cha We can see the Israelite family busy at home. Sarah has a pet lamb and she loves her very much. The mother is making bread and the father is fixing the wall of the house. Other children in the family are playing. A messenger angel comes from God and tells the father that she is going to kill some of the Egyptians in the night when they are sleeping. because Pharaoh has not obeyed God and let the Israelites go. The angel says they must kill a lamb and paint the blood around the door frame of the house. Then when God comes to destroy the Egyptians, he will pass over the houses which have the blood on them. The blood of the lamb will save the family. Sarah is so upset. She does not want her lamb to be killed. Why does it have to be that one? Her special pet. The father says we only have that one lamb. Her mother says we have to do it. It's the only way we will be saved. The father takes the lamb away and Sarah is crying. The other children are also wondering, why has it to be done? Why does father have to kill that lamb? The mother and father want to obey what God tells them to do. Things always go best if we obey God. The father comes back with the blood and paints it on the door frame. Then they all go to bed because it is late and they trust God. Suddenly in the night they all wake up. They hear screaming and crying. wailing and sobbing the children cling to their parents and ask what is happening the father tells the family that the angel from god has come and destroyed the firstborn of the egyptians because pharaoh would not let them go but their family and all the other israelites are safe because they obeyed They obeyed God and killed their lambs and painted the door frames with blood. The angel of God has passed over their home. Sarah looks at her father and says, "Now I understand. I am glad we obeyed God and killed my lamb so that we could all be saved." And she hugs her father and the other children are also happy. This story shows us that to save us God had to kill a lamb. Lendaba isitshengisa ukuthi uNkulunkulu kuzakwazi ukusindisa kwadinge ukuthi abulale iwundlu. 
Jesus is called the Lamb of God. We all need to be protected by the blood of Jesus. Jesus died on the cross to take the punishment for all the wrong things we do. We're saved by his blood, just like the Israelites were saved by the blood of the Lamb. When we do something wrong and come to Jesus to ask him to forgive us, Jesus will forgive us. On the cross, Jesus bled. His blood came out of his cuts and wounds, and he died for us. And now, if we believe in him, his blood, the blood of the Lamb of God, saves us from God's punishments. It marks our hearts so that God doesn't have to punish us because he already punished Jesus in our place. Jesus died because of all the wrong things we do. Because Jesus went to the cross and died there, God does not punish us for the wrong things and sins we do if we ask him to forgive us. He carried all the wrong things we do. In our story, the father killed the lamb and put the blood on the door frame. And the angel passed over the Israelites, the people who loved and trusted God. In the same way, God sent his only son Jesus to die for us. When we ask someone to pray with us, when we are sorry for something we have done, then the blood of Jesus covers us and he saves us from the power of sin. The blood of Jesus changes us to become more like him. At Easter, we remember what Jesus has done for us. He died, but then after he was buried, he came alive again, and the devil did not win or get the victory. Jesus won. Jesus will live forever and we can live forever with him if we let his blood remove the wrong things we do and say, the sin we have done. Is your heart clean? Have you told Jesus about the wrong things you have done? Have you asked someone to pray with you and ask God to forgive you? If you have, then you've got the blood of Jesus over the door of your heart. 
umusu wenzile loko, ugushutu wena unekazi emnyango wenziyo yako. Maybe this Easter will be the first time when you can ask to pray with someone because you want the Lord Jesus to come into your heart and take away all the wrong things you have done to save you from your sin. Mshambe, lesi skatse pasiga, kungaba skatsa koso kala esiche, so guti uleti zono zako eka zinga chesu. Do you know that he has saved you? Uyazi inu guchu chesu, usek sindisile. Do you really know this? We are guazing and better locum gun. And do you know his peace in your heart? We are guazing no tool in his winyak. If he stood next to you right now, would you know that you are his friend and that you want him in your life all the time? Uma wutu be met with the guac. Ubozo guazi no guaz wuti yena umum gun wako. Forty um tanda aircorn in Bulunyak. We are going to pray and then we will listen to a song called If the Saviour Stood Beside Me. Seso tandaza, besa solalela ikulo eliti. Ugube umsindisi wa emetu zewam. Jesus is right beside you and wants to come into your heart. Uchesu mgani umile tuze wendli ziyo yako ufunu mgena ngapagat. Are you going to let him in? and let his blood clean you and make you all new? Uzo mgeni sayin, agwenze ube clean ushanzege nge kazilake. This is the good news of Easter. Lezi gebangani zindabe zinte ze pasiga. Let's pray together. As kuleg. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you came at Easter time and died on the cross so that we can be made new and clean and free from sin by your blood. Please continue speaking to our hearts and be with us further today. Amen. Amen. Would my 